Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. Welcome to the world's lightest touring bike. It's a giant TCR Advanced SL ISP running a stages power meter on there. If you don't go touring at a power meter, you're really missing out. You're really fucking missing out. Power meter makes pacing so much easier. Pedals, I run XTR 980s. Durable pedal, easy to get cleats. Compact crank up front, 28 on the back. So it's a 50, 30, 50 34 for 28. Great climbing gear for high wattage or just easy spinning. Full duress group set. Little Italian racing mirror. Great for racing, great for touring, great for keeping your mates on the back. Physique, uh, tri-gel. And the little offcuts there, little retro tip, under, just push them underneath, extra cushioning, extra padding. Garmin 800 up front. We've got here the Garmin uh, little bracket there, some SRAM, profile bars, a lot of profile on my bars, have about 10 years, easy to adjust. This little bag here, come with rubber blocks, I took them out to save weight and didn't really feel it was necessary. The bag is made by Relevate Designs. Again, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I choose to be not sponsored so I can use whatever the fuck I want to use, endorse what I want to use. Alpine Bivy in there from Outdoor Research, great little product. Again, the front bag by Relevate Designs. All these bags are from Relevate Designs from Alaska, purchased all by myself. Specialized saddle up front. Uh, I'm surprised how many people go touring or racing and don't mark their seat height with a bit of white out pen, a bit of liquid paper pen. Mark your fucking reference point, so if anything slips, you know where to go back to. A bit of rubber there to stop the seat coast creaking. I like these bags because they're carbon seat post friendly. Just Velcro, no fittings to fuck up, just Velcro and straps. Strong stuff. I've done just over 7,000 kilometers of these bags, still going strong. And they look pretty clean. It's crazy, man. It's the digital camo color. Bike without the bag, 6.9 kilos with the power meter and pedals. This is called the gas tank. The gas tank, little top tube bag, works great. What we've got in here, let's have a look. I've actually got a medical condition uh, where I don't have enough human growth hormone or EPO, so I'm using some Russian growth hormone EPO mix there. Little 25 gauges in there, no worries. I've got a medical for certificate for that. That's a another top tube bag down there. Fits a 1.5 liter bottle, no worries, or whatever you want to put in. It doesn't really rub your knees, it works pretty good. Well designed kit, well designed kit. Zips, sort of waterproof, water resistant, never done any creek crossings with them, but have ridden heavy rain, no issues at all. You can still get a drink bottle out, this is the bike there, isn't it beautiful? That's a, that's a piece of work, that's a piece of work. Mm, mm, mm. Always check your clearance, please check your clearance in your bags so you don't damage nothing. Bingo.